guys this is for all the marbles this is for all the mini truckers who couldn't say we did it all the teachers in school who said we were gonna be losers uh, everybody else who doubted us this is the moment of truth will the Subaru sandbar transmission be improved or will it stay rat beast and be a troublemaker only we will find out as real authentic mini truckers Dude, get out of here. Come on, seriously. We're here. The Subaru van. What's up, mini truckers across the world? Ben here, the US mini trucks. We're about to go. We got the Subaru Sandbar van. We got a bad transmission. It was like slipping. It's got this CVT transmission, so it uses these little brushes. Everybody's doing good. We got the little Subaru van. We got our little brush in, so we're about to go check that out. You guys, we're gonna try to work together. So I already started without you, but I'll show you what uh, I've done. So basically, where should I start? What it is, is uh, first this, is what we're trying to replace so this sits in the engine like this and these brushes make contact with some sort of rotating thing and it pulls uh, like magnet powder so somebody's gonna write in the comments and tell us how it works but this is the old one I'll show you this is the the new one here genuine Subaru part so the little thing on the top, much taller. I mean, this one's pretty well down. They do have a little play in them, but that's normal. You can see on this new one even has a little play. We don't want to break it, but uh, it was kind of challenging getting that thing out. That's where it sits, just two eight millimeter screws. I had to take the distributor off, the spark plug wires, uh, and then these heat shields. So there's a couple of these or some sort of shields. This one, and then there's something over here. And these were uh, eight or 10 millimeter, I think 10. So it's kind of hard uh, getting this out. I'm gonna try to kind of jack the engine up a little bit because what it ends up hitting is a little piece on the bottom right here it's gonna be impossible to see but if you have this that's gonna be the challenge so we just need to kind of lift it up the engine a little bit to be able to get this new piece in oh and then the plug it routes up here it was behind the starter it came up and then the plug actually sits on that little prong right there and then this piece plugs into it from the top so hopefully this will solve our problems. This is the uh, Subaru van. I've got it opened up. Oh, I was gonna show you that distributor cap. I gotta get these wheels done. It looks terrible, but that front end is so sweet. Oh man, I just wanna kinda get it running good so I can cruise it. This thing gets so many looks. It's more looks than any of the trucks I've ever had. Which, that color, it's kind of a combination, that front end. It's got a, free, a cool radio. We're gonna jam together. So yeah, this is that distributor. The plug wires look like in pretty good shape. Here's some miscellaneous bolts. This is how things get lost, jeez. Uh, I did try to mark this distributor, but Hopefully, uh, 
Oh, I did. So, it, this has two different sides. This may help somebody. But this is like a slotted side. And this side is just round. So, let me see if you can see what that is. It's probably too dark in here. So, I m went ahead and marked that slotted side. And I think I tried to write something like slotted or something. So, I'm trying to keep that from changing too much. It is a... You know geared so even if you mess up you have 50 percent chance you can put it back on and if it goes one way it should start up if it doesn't just flip it around uh okay so i'm gonna try to get that this part is available is about i don't know 80 or 90 bucks by the time i got it shipped here but super fast shipping these are the parts i used this one was probably the most helpful for the getting that bottom bolt, so I did something like this. And then broke it and was able to get in because it's, it's pretty tight in there. I guess maybe you could write in the comments, you're supposed to undo the you know, motor mount or something like that. But Okay, I got it in. I'm kind of having to go from the top and the bottom, so... It's hard to see from the bottom, but when I go to the bottom, I close this, and now we're going to come to the top. You can see I got the bolts in. Let me see if I can get a light in there. All right, we got it in, the 8 millimeter bolts, and we routed that wire around, and then it comes here, and it actually sits on uh, this vertical surface and plugs in there. So what we've got to do now is get that distributor cap, or the whole distributor, get it reattached. This. Okay, since I had the distributor off, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this O-ring. Look at this, they're supposed to be like flexible rubber, and this old one is like plastic. So look, you like it doesn't. The new one returns to shape. So we're gonna get that on. Hopefully there's not too much pin in the butt trying to slip it over this, but we can do it. All right, super easy. I was worried about having to make it be super tight, but this will give us peace of mind. I don't think it was leaking, but it did have a little oil residue under there. So we'll see, hopefully it can't hurt. One thing you might want to, we might want to pre-lube this rubber going into the gas, the hole in there, because otherwise it might uh, stick. But you can see I kind of marked, it's just two bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom. And it's got a, a keyed position, so you got to make sure, you know, don't push it too hard, because this chuck there has to align with the, with the openings. Okay. All right, we got the distributor reattached. I know this one line is from obviously the coil pack. And so then uh, we've got one, two, three, and four. They actually have some numbers on there. As you can see, there's a two and they don't, they don't go in order. So I think these are one and two and then it goes four, three. Okay, so I got the wires, and we can see they actually have numbers on them. So this one is number four. The good thing with that is we know that this is the shortest one. It's going to go there, and then three, two, one. And we'll see, most likely one, you can see in this case. This one has a one on it. It's going to be our longest one. And then the other good thing, these kind of have memory, so it'll help us get them back where we need them. And then we'll get them in there without reference any other sources, just sticking together. Okay, before I put the plug wires on, I was thinking to go ahead and replace these spark plugs, or at least inspect them. I pulled one out, and it's this Champion Iridium, which doesn't look that worn if you, there's no blow-by. This piece looks solid. So I'll probably end up reusing these just because I use copper and it's pretty unlikely that they wore out the iridiums. Uh, 
this early without you know visible damage and it was running good and they're matching set so we'll just put the one back in and uh roll with those okay i'm hiding my own wires too good it's hilarious so this piece goes here and then you can see what i did here i tucked that up there but it almost looked factory so we just gotta undo that we're gonna plug this back in i feel like pretty good about this let me double check these numbers feels like the cross over here is probably normal all right we'll see if she starts and then we'll go for a test drive stay tuned guys this is for all the marbles this is for all the mini truckers who couldn't say we did it all the teachers in school who said we were going to be losers uh everybody else who doubted us this is the moment of truth Will the Subaru Sambar transmission be improved or will it stay rat beast and be a troublemaker? Only we will find out as real, authentic mini truckers! Where's the cyber truck when you got a mini truck? Come on, what are they talking about? You're gonna run out of batteries in the woods, okay? I got a fuel tank right here, I'll just charge right up. Feeling better already. Feeling a lot better. I don't think I used to even be able to go to 60. So maybe we'll get on that highway, we'll do a little top speed run. It's pretty crowded today, beautiful day. Look at this, blue skies. I got the windows down, drop top, mini truck. We're gonna get a lot of looks at this stoplight. So we'll see what happens. I always hate the attention. I'm not, definitely not an attention hog. Huh? Right, here we go. I think it's doing better. What do you guys think? We're cruising. I think I blew the radio up for some reason. It's not responding at all anymore. It was just not going to source, and then I tried to spray it out with some contact cleaner, and it's just dead, so. That'll help us cruise a little bit. All right, we're trying. We're on the highway. It seems like it's spinning pretty good still. We're getting a top speed about here. It's making noise in the back. We're gonna exit soon. We don't wanna be here too long. A little bit faster than before, but we should be going faster than this, I feel like. way better it's weird because it just part of the slipping is just normal for it so you give it gas the engine gets louder but you do go forward so you can see we're accelerating actually quite a bit and at low rpm it does much better so it's definitely gonna be just a little cruiser but street legal down here we'll drive around a little bit more but we got to 80 kilometers which see, see so it's loud but watch we're accelerating
thing before, it didn't even use to accelerate. It may not be perfect, but it's doing really good. Streets here are so bumpy, it's ridiculous. Temperatures looking good. <laughs> 